Hi guys, I'm gonna have to do a voiceover to this, but this is just a quick video of how good I clean morning. my guinea pigs out. As I say, good morning. Good morning. Make sure they're both okay. Put them outside so I can clean the cage. And look how dirty it really is. Cleaned all the bowls out with cold water. Then we went into the kitchen and did some hot soapy water and put those in. Make sure that they are nice and clean. Then we continued to get their houses out and clean those up with some cold water. Put some washing up liquid on both of them. Made sure I did both sides. Got some before that I did clean them off again, give them a good scrub and then just gone over them with some disinfectant spray. So guys, as you can see, this is part two. I'm just taking all the toys out, taking the water out, taking all the hay out, put some of the clean back in the bag, ready for next time, taking out any eaten treats, taking treats out. So guys, if you've been wondering why there's not been any TikToks recently, is that I haven't been very well. I think I've got the flu, so I haven't been able to, so that's why I'm still not getting over it at the minute. But as you can see, I'm just taking all the toys out. This cage right here is just my work cage. And I'll be taking all them out so I can clean it. That's what we hang the water on. Take all the toys into the kitchen and let them soak in that washing up liquid. To be clean later on. Come back outside. Look at how dirty the cage is. Tip all the water out, the water bottle, to give them clean and fresh water. Take the cage trays into the kitchen and also let those soak. As you can see, they're all soaking in that nice soup, soapy water. And I think we've got mice, so I'm just cleaning where the guinea pigs sit. My dad said he'll clean the floor tomorrow because we have to get the bikes out. So guys, I think this is part four. I am just putting a bit of disinfectant spray on. The guinea pigs do not sit directly onto this, so I can put whatever I feel like is okay to put onto this. There's just a bit of washing up liquid and a good sponge. Then I'm just cleaning the carry cot, so I can pick up all the straw and put it into the bucket. Yeah, that's what they look like. I had to use a chisel to get them out, but I'm just watering them down there with a bit of water. Then I'm just using a bit of soap to give them a scrub. I do clean them off again and leave them to dry. Then tip the bucket out. Bit of disinfectant cleaner. Doesn't harm them, just thought I'd put that out there. And then I just go over the cage with some soapy water and yeah, then use the disinfectant spray again. So this is the main cage that I'm currently cleaning out. I just take off the black bit and water that black bit down. Give it a good clean as well as the doors. Then go over with some soapy water again, making sure I do both sides. Then I think I'm going in with a disinfectant spray, yep. And just the cages. This one here is my work one that I, when we go to work. As you can see, I'm just picking the shavings up with the scoop and putting it in the black bucket. Now I'm taking the whole black bucket and tipping it away. And the same with that. I shouldn't put the newspaper in, but shh, we never know. And then, yeah, just start filling up with
So here I'm just going over with the disinfectant spray again. Giving the cage a clean with that. So but we can't get those stains out, they are stained into the cage. Same with this one. Um, we're just washing it down with washing a bit quicker as we did not have these guinea pigs from the beginning. So it's just got stained throughout the times when it hasn't been deep cleaned. Just giving it a water and getting all that washing liquid out. And going doing going and doing the same for this cage and disinfecting it with the cleaning disinfectant spray. Pop that away. Say hi to my babies. Lock them up, go and clean in the cage. This is all going to be left to dry out now. So yeah, cleaning all the equipment, all the toys. This is just a video of pigs having their little treats. They are still quite nervous, but that's okay. So this one's Patch. And the one hiding in that little tunnel is Snow. Yeah, they have an argument who goes in the tunnel and who doesn't. That's Patch. He likes hay. And yeah, this is where they both come out and think, Oh, I can have a nibble on the so it's absolutely not. But yeah, enjoy the cute video of the little pigs. And I'll see you in the next one where we sort the cage out ready for them to go back in once everything is dry. So yeah, see you guys. This is the last few parts, but as you can see, I'm just putting the cage back in and putting some clean newspaper and making sure that I put a lot of newspaper at the top. Making, oh, then doing the same for my work cage, putting some of this in, which is safe for them, just to absorb the piece on the wall. Put more where the bed in, where the bed lies. Just dashed it around in there. Added some shavings. And this took me forever to do the big one. Then put some straw in for this one. And then we'll just have to get some more. Put some stuff away in their box. Same for the small one. Put the shavings in. Say hi to my babies. Looking how cute. Put all the top cage on. Put the house in. Put the toys in. Put the door on. So on this one, I did the same, put the cage around back on, put the thermo thing on, <coughs> that keeps them warm, put their toys back in, this is how I decorated it, then put the hose back in, I use cable ties which they cannot reach to keep them safe, so it gives them extra room, put them extra hay in some three bowls of food put their first door back on put that oh put the water bowl well put the food bowl in grab some water for them put it in because it was too close down so i rearranged that put some hay in checked everything out put some veg in and happy pigs here are the pigs in the house, all happy, munching away. Shut their door, come back later and close it off. I just saw out their room for outside. Make sure everything's neat for in the morning and finish by closing the lid down. And throw the water dish back in there. Then I put some straw in the carry cots. Both of them to make sure they're both nice and comfy when we come and we go into uh, work. Yeah, shut them up, making sure that they've got air, blankets, and a nice and warm, but still have airflow.